What it do, YouTube? It's me, Can't Stop a Money, and we are back inside the hyperbolic reaction chamber, and this is our final reaction to Volume Five of Ruby. Yes, guys, the final chapter, the finale of Volume Five. Fourteen weeks, fourteen chapters, fifteen weeks. Yeah, fifteen something like that. Um, and we reached the end of volume five. It's been one, it's been a good ride. It's been a great ride. And this is my first time actually going through it with you all. Well, throughout all the cliffhangers, all the suspense and all the action, every single second of it. And it's been one blissful ride. It's been bliss. Thank y'all for this, uh, for this journey through volume five. I recently started Ruby, uh, a few months ago in 2017, started from start to finish, fell in love with it. Ruby is, here or there, get some more stuff. Ruby is just awesome. By the way, I'm Can't Stop the Money, or you got to say Amos, if you're watching me for the first time ever. I'm a man of the fans. I'm a man of Ruby. I love Ruby, I just stated. And the Ruby community is one of the best communities on YouTube. That goes for anything, hands down. You all are so nice. So Y'all hospitality was amazing. Warm, welcoming. I'm one of you all. Just thank y'all so much. All right, let's enjoy every single second of this. Uh, it's going to be like 24 minutes long with the exception of probably an after credit scene that i would look out for just in case if they do show it uh where we last left off volume uh chapter 13 raven and raven and cinder had went went out went all out with raven prevailing cinder got encased in ice and dropped down to like a bottomless pit my i think she shattered she dropped somewhere and shattered but maybe not we're at the end with raven at the end of the door inside the relic uh the relic of knowledge dimension then Yang pops in front, uh, pops behind her. Maybe they might they might get into a fight. We'll see. I'm excited. So guys, let's get into this. Also, one more thing. Uh, we can join the join the Unstoppable Army Discord. The link to the Discord will be in the description below. We can talk amongst other via Money Army. I will be there. I'll be there to meet and greet you all. So we can talk about Ruby, anime, life, memes, all of that, and everything. And if you want to, and if you want to, if you was wondering what the intro song to my my intro song at the, at the opening video, that would, the link to that would be in the description below so y'all can listen to that because I've been getting a lot of requests for that too. So let's get into this. Without further ado, the video will be played right here in this corner. This is Ruby, Volume Five, Chapter Fourteen Finale, Heaven's Fate, right now. Oh. That's gonna be my last time hearing that opener. Let's do it, guys. Let's soak in every single second. Outmatched and outnumbered. Oh, that's a great sight. All the finest. Like, that's kind of hot. I'm going to make you regret ever coming back. Now, Adam, are you going to put up a fight? Way, Adam. Huntsman too. <laughs> are you going to put up a fight this time? To face me on your own. I'm here for Haven, not you. Huh? Come on, give her a real fight this time. <laughs> You are still afraid, and you should be. I've made powerful friends while you've been away. Oh, yeah? Where? <laughs> Tell me, does Blake make all of her classmates fight for her? Nah, it's a volunteer gig. I'm just yeah, saying, for someone sadly. who claims to have such great friends, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people here willing to fight for you. Well said, son. Well, we'll see. You can try and make me regret coming here, Adam. But honestly, I've got more important things to deal with. Ooh. Oh yeah, bring them gun chucks. I get high when I see them gun chucks. Let's go. Son, <laughs> I'm so glad they brought that back. Away. We could take him. No, we can't. He wants to lure us away so he can pick us off. We need to protect the school and the people here. 
Besides, now he can see what it feels like to run away. Ah. Thank you. Eh, we all need help sometimes. I think oh, there's yes, a few people yeah, Hazel. Who yours. Be careful. No promises. <laughs> Oh yeah. You guys okay? <gasps> Surviving. Exhausted. I don't know how that big guy's still standing. He recharges his aura faster than I've ever seen. <sighs> He's sheer willpower. <sighs> and anger. We just need to get him to his limit. I like that weapon the Lionheart has. Oh no! Oh, we're back with Blake! Are you hurt? N no! I, I just remember you being more of the quiet one. Not today. Yes, well. Alright. Well, what's the plan, Ruby? <laughs> So I'll be forgetting that's a gun sometimes. You Just sometimes. Be kidding me. <laughs> hey, ready. Check me. Oh. All right. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to be, be back with. I warned you, Yang. I gave you every opportunity to walk away from Crow and Oz. So you can believe me when I say this wasn't personal. You open the vault. Thanks to the chaos you and your friends caused upstairs. I knew you could handle it. You're my daughter, after all. Crow and Oz told me how the maiden powers were transferred. The girl you found. She would have had to have trusted you if you were in her final thoughts. Cared about you a lot. I'm sure they told you plenty, and you just sat and obeyed. No. I'm starting to ask questions like you said. So tell me. What happened to the last spring maiden? Did she die in battle? Was it sickness? I want to know that too. What does it matter to you? I can already see the answer. It's all over your face. How could you? She was scared when we found her. Weak. No matter how much training I put her through, she never learned. She wasn't cut out for this world. And with those powers, she would have been hunted her entire life. What I did wasn't personal. It was mercy. Which is it, Mom? Are you merciful or are you a survivor? Did you oh, let me walk man. into that trap because you knew I could handle it? Or because it meant you could get what you wanted? It's not that simple. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. The choices I've had to make. I haven't been in my right. life. I don't know you. I only know the Raven Dad told me about. She was troubled and complicated. But she fought for what she believed in, whether it was her team or her tribe. Did you kill her too? I've stared death in the face over and over again, and every time I've spat in that face and survived because I'm strong enough to do what others won't. Oh, shut up! Oh, she's breaking through her a little bit. You don't know the first thing about strength. You turn your back on people. You run away when things get too hard. You put others in harm's way instead of yourself. You might be powerful, but that doesn't make you strong. Who oh. do you think you are lecturing me? Standing there shaking like a scared little girl. Yeah, I'm scared, but I'm still standing here. I'm not like you. I won't run, which is why you're going to give me the relic. Oh. And why would I? Because you're afraid of Salem! And if you thought having maiden powers put a target on your back, imagine what she'll do when she finds out you have a relic. She has a point. She'll come after you with everything she has. And tribe just ain't gonna be she safe. Come after me. And I'll be standing there, waiting for her. <laughs> Ooh, when that day comes. You don't want to do this, Yang. 
Nope. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh. I... I'm sorry. Oh, the chills. Yeah. Me too. She flew away. Well, time to get the relic. I just hope they can coexist one day. And this is incredible. This is a whole nother dimension. Are all the relics like that? Wow. What do they plan to do with it though? That's it. I was thinking that the relic would be like a chess piece, you know? That's what I thought it would probably be. Oh. Lionheart doing. Oh, that's that. Where might you be going? Oh, shit. Your grace. <laughs> I was just looking for something. Leonardo, do you have something you wish to tell me? It was Cinder. She altered the plan. Huntsman showed up here. Crow. Several students. One with the silver eyes. The White Fang attack. It was stopped. I, I don't know that they'll be able to recover the relic. Oh, that noise. Can still be of assistance. If I leave now, I, I can avoid the authorities and come find you. I I'll do whatever it takes. Your Grace. <laughs> You will try to do that now? Oh shit. Oh my god. Please, ma'am. I'll do anything. I can it'll be useful. Please! 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 And the thing about that, guys, he kind of saw it had it coming. If he just would have just stopped running away from everything. It's not over. Cinder will come back. She'll have the relic, and she'll stop all of you. Mm -mm. She won't let us down. Oh, Ermo, you're so wrong. Yang has the relic. Yeah. Yeah, she's gone for right now. Emerald, get up. We need to go. Emerald. Is it rage? What the fuck? Holy shit! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! The, I, 
I was wondering about this. <laughs> it's all an illusion. What was that? An illusion. That was Salem. But an accurate one. That was Salem. That's a glimpse of what she's cap of what she can possibly do. That's just a small glimpse. Just think about that. When they finally when they finally get a fighter one day. Holy shit, that was that was that was scary. The police rounded up the remaining White Fang members. Haven is safe. Unfortunately, it appears that Adam escaped. It's okay. He was the only one to escape tonight. Those in the White Fang that followed him won't support a leader that abandons his people. He won't have their help after this. He'll have no one at all. And the White Fang will be left divided. We've been fighting amongst ourselves for too long. Perhaps it's time for a new brotherhood. A new family for Faunus truly working towards a better world. And they'll need a new leader. <sighs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> now the gang is here. What happened? I don't know exactly. When I got down there, Cinder was gone. And Vernal was dead. And Draven? Gone. Well, we're all glad you're still here, Firecracker. Are you okay? I feel like I should be asking you guys. So, Blake, what are you doing here? I... I was gonna ask you three the same thing. <laughs> oh, heartfelt moment. That's a long story. Well... I'm not going anywhere. That's all that matters. <laughs> that we're all huh. here together. Smile, Yang. Right? Come, come on. You lost, you found, your heart to pin down. Yeah. I never know if you'll come through. Soundtrack. Join them. Finally get to see them again together. It's bittersweet looking at the original team. We did it, Oz. You okay? I'm all right, kid. He's resting. Too much energy fighting. Oh, hey, is it, don't strain yourself. No. He had a message. Must get the lamp to Atlas. <laughs> Atlas. Next is Atlas. Is that what he just said? Oh, rest easy, rest easy, Oscar. And Oscar. Wow. <sighs> Here we are. The end credit scene. Oh, oh, what's that? Raven. Oh, that's it.
We may need to... And that, that's that. That's all she wrote for volume five, guys. That's it. That's a stamp on it. Right there. That, that was chapter 14, the finale of volume five. My overall thoughts of that chapter in particular, great end result. Got to see, got to see the, the, the game back together. Uh, I stated earlier it was a bittersweet, it's, it was bittersweet to see uh, at times, because yeah, you had Ruby team back together, then you have Team Juniper, you know, without, you know. But uh, it was great to see them back together. Heartfelt moment. They have the relic of knowledge. Now, I think it's on the Atlas. Pretty much. Had Ray, had Raven at the end, at the end of the, at the end of credit scene. And that was a glimpse what Emerald did. That was just, like I said, that was an illusion. That was a glimpse of what they could be facing or what they will be facing, actually, whenever they, whenever Team Ruby takes on uh, Salem. And I was wondering where they come from at the end of the opener. I was wondering, is that, are, were they going to fight Salem in this, in this volume? But then I was like, oh, it never happened. But then Emerald did that illusion. I'm like, oh, okay, there you go. There go that part. <laughs> Uh, as far as uh, Lionheart goes, to be honest with you, I don't feel so bad for him because he spent most of his time just, he spent most of his time running away from everything instead of, you know, having the heart of a lion and, you know, fight alongside Crow in the game, you know? Anything's better than living than, than living and working for Salem. And, yeah, I, he had it coming right there. So... That's pretty much it, guys. Thank y'all so much. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for y'all support on this. It means so much. I, I will. I provide a playlist of my Ruby reactions at the end of this video for you all. If you guys wanted to see it from the beginning, if you watch me for the first time ever, I enjoyed every single second of this. And I can't wait for that soundtrack to drop. And but I really can't wait for Volume Six. So let me know if y'all have any kind of speculation on when it's coming out. I, I've, I've heard fall. Just let me know. Give me some kind of give me some kind of hope, cause this year is just starting. Oh my God, just kill me! <laughs> uh, thank y'all so much. Uh, I go on long enough. Thank y'all for watching this with me. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll be sure to see you all in my next one. Sayonara.